Today I'm going to taste taste the commercial Italian passata, the Italian tomato puree that you can find all over the world. Some of them are very good, some of them are okay, some of them maybe they are not good. Let's see. I am not test tasting the terrible stuff that you find in supermarkets and the no made in Italy tomatoes. All of these brands are made in Italy and they use Italian tomatoes. I'm going to taste taste these Italian passadas with this beautiful bread that are made with love. This is my ciabatta recipe that you can find on my website or YouTube channel. The first passata, the first brand I want to talk about is the Muraka, a beautiful family, beautiful Calabrian family who make quality. This has no sugar added because you never put sugar. It's got reduced salt, 100% tomatoes from Italy, but not from Italy, just Italy. Calabria, okay? These guys have their own tomatoes, they are just incredible. We've got 48 mg of sodium and everything else is pretty down. Now all the nutritional informations are pretty low. The only higher one is the sodium, which is 48 mg, but it's still okay for a tomato sauce. The ingredients used in this passata are Italian tomatoes, 99.7%, and salt, nothing else. This is pure Italian tomato puree pure from Muraca. Buono, genuino, italiano. Ah. And I'm gonna do the taste taste with a spoon. I wanna see if it's sweet, I wanna see if it's tasty. Ooh, it smells like tomatoes, real tomatoes. Wow, beautiful. It reminds me of um, Nonna's flavors in August. When you go to Nonna's house and Nonna and nonna used to make the tomato passata together with my family. Mm, beautiful memories. Now I'm going to put some on a slice of bread because bread and tomatoes, they love each other. Now let's see, let's see. Mm. This tomato passata deserves a 9 out of 10. The reason why I'm not giving a 10 out of 10 is because the 10 out of 10 only deserves to be given to the tomato passata that you make at home. The one, you know, that you clean the tomatoes, that you do it by yourself. But this one, it's as close as possible to the homemade version. I need to clean my palate with every taste. The second brand, Passat of the Day, it's a, a very commercial brand, it's called Granoro. They also make pasta and other stuff. Uh, says only Italian tomatoes. If we look at the nutritional values, nutritional values are higher than Muraka. We got more sugars, uh, we got more carbohydrate and 160 mg sodium. So definitely a lot more. Ingredients, we have tomatoes, we have salt, acidity regulator, and citric acid. So the reason why there are, the reason why you find acidity regulator is because you need to keep the tomatoes longer uh, and then they know why they add it. But you know, so far Muraga doesn't do it and the tomatoes stay well for a long time. I think also the acidity regulator is needed when you have a big brand like this one. Big brands, they have to do it because they do big batches of tomato sauce. Let's shake. I get some tomato flavors, but also get something that is not right. This is a lot more dense than the other one. It looks more, I don't know if the word is correct, a creamier, not made. Not strong tomato flavors, 100%, not like the Muraka. If you add onion, celery, carrots, pepper, salt, basil, seafood, whatever, I'm sure you can cover this, but it's, it's, it's not the best tomatoes. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more on the bread, just to give it a second go. The, the smell is not strong. Look, I don't love it. 
I don't want to be rude to give it a bad uh, score, but I would say um, a 5 out of 10 is what Granoro tomato sauce, tomato puree deserves. Now it's time for Cirio. Cirio is a great brand. This is passata rustica, so it means rustic passata, tomato puree. It's nice and thick. It says it's made 100% with Italian tomatoes. The nutritional values on this one are pretty good. Everything is very low. The carbohydrate and sugar is a bit higher than the other ones we saw. And the sodium is very, very low, 6.4. Ingredients, we got tomatoes 100%, acidity regulator, citric acid, and there is no salt. So here basically we have 100% tomatoes, and then there is acidity, re acidity regulator, which is needed to keep the tomatoes last longer. No added salt, no added sugar, fat free. I've eaten this brand many, many, many times. Today I'm actually tasting them with other brands. So today I can really tell which one is good and which one is not that good. I always say this is good, so. Strong flavor of tomatoes, but not as good and fresh and strong as the Muraga. I don't think I can compare the Muraga with any of them. Nice and thick, see, nice and thick. You can see pieces of tomatoes, which is a good sign. Definitely, yeah, there's tomatoes in there. I don't know what type of quality tomatoes they have in here. Let's put it on the bread. There is a little bit of acidity level in here, which, uh, you know, it's not as sweet and homemade like the Muraka. It's a bit hard now to compare because I started with the top of the range, the Muraka. Chirio is a great passata brand. I've eaten these in many occasions. It has uh, beautiful flavors. Uh, the acidity level, it's a bit too high maybe, now that I compared the Muraka. Definitely better than Granoro. But I will give Cirio a, a nice solid 7. Now it's time for La Molisana. La Molisana makes my favorite commercial pasta at the moment. And here we got 100% Italian tomatoes made in Italy. So if you look at the nutritional values, we have 4.1 G of sugars. And sodium is pretty high, 184 mg. So the one with the highest one. The ingredients are tomatoes, salt, acidity regulator, citric acid again it's a big commercial brand i guess they make uh, big big batches and they have to use the acidity regulator so far all of them are using it except muraka i love the pasta molisana makes incredible pastas oh beautiful okay yeah on the packet it says fresh taste for some reason, I do get that fresh taste. It's, it's nice and thick, dense, and it's really tasty, I have to say. Let's put it on the bread. Mm. This bread is so good. Right, very, very nice tomatoes. For some reason, taste the freshness on this beautiful passata. But for some reason, I can taste the acidity regulator. There is something not right that doesn't give me the same experience I got from Muraka. Definitely uh, not as bad as Granola, but I would say this, it's as good as Cheerio, and both of them deserve a solid seven. This is perfect for pasta, for chicken, or meatballs, or whatever you wanna do. For pizza, I use peeled tomatoes and I crush them. For San Marzano, but this, you can also use on pizza if you want to be lazy. Mutti. Mutti is the most commercial, most popular Italian passata brand, okay? You can find it anywhere. It's like Barilla, basically. It's that type of sauce that no matter where you are, you can find it. It says Italy number one brand of tomatoes, just like Barilla. 100% Italian tomatoes, so they really believe in these. Nutritional values we have, everything is low. Sugars 4.5. Sodium is the highest, 200 mg in sodium. Let's look at the ingredients because this is, this is the interesting part. Tomatoes, 99.5%. Salt, stored at room temperature in a cool, dry place. 
Wow, wow, wow. GMO free, only Italian tomatoes. There's no acidity regulator in this one. Let's find out if they deserve to be the number one. You can find this pretty much everywhere. So I like the bottle. I like the sauce. I mean, the sauce, you can see the red color. I'm not sure if they use any artificial coloring in there, but I like the red color. It's very distinguished from the other one. Uh, very different. I don't know what type of tomatoes they use. Beautiful, strong smell of tomatoes. I can really smell the tomatoes. Not as sweet and beautiful like the Muraka. And there is a price difference there as well. Uh, Muraka is a little bit higher. But this, Vellutato, smooth. Oh, this is very smooth. I don't know how, but Mutti knows how to do it. Mutti has this recipe that makes the tomato very smooth. Mm. For such a big company, I don't know how they can manage to make this beautiful tomato taste like a tomato. I have a velvety, like they say, delicate. It's, it's really nice. It's a really nice one. Uh, I don't taste any artificials, I don't taste any acidity regulator, so it's, it's pretty good. So I would have to say that this Muti deserves a solid 7.5. It's really, really good. Here it's time for Pomi, a brand that uh, is really loved in Italy by Italians. You can find this now pretty much uh, everywhere in the world. I like uh, that they say here, processed within a few hours after crop. So that's a pretty good detail. 100% Italian tomatoes. Now if we look at nutritional values, everything is very, very low. The sugars is 5G and the sodium is the highest, 250 mg. Wow. If we look at the ingredients, we only have tomatoes and 0.4% of salt. So pure Italian tomatoes. Pomi, pomi, pomi. It's all about pomodoro. These guys, all they do is tomato sauce. So, it must be good. Mm, the smell, I can smell real tomatoes in there. The Mutti tomatoes, I believe they're from Emilia Romagna. But these, they must be from uh, more down south. Mmm, buonissimo, buono, 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 buono. Very, very nice, very nice and smooth. Very fresh, very tasty. Again, it's nice and velvety, it's very delicate. Uh, it tastes fresh, it tastes like beautiful southern sweet Italian tomatoes. Let's see how it tastes on the bread. Mmm, the beautiful strong tomato flavors are really coming out. Mm. For me, that's really good. Really, really, really good. Not at the same level of Muraka. Muraka is on a different planet. It's fresh, it's like non as tomato sauce. I, I, I feel like it's been made yesterday. You know, that's how fresh it is. I don't know how they do it, but the tomatoes are top qualities. I put Pomi as uh, the second best. I give uh, Pomi a very solid eight. Why I, give, I don't give Pomi a nine is because it's missing that uh, the day before uh, tomato flavor. The way Muraka gives it to me, the freshness. It's fresh, it's good but there is a little bit missing. Very good, very good, very good. Last but not least, we have Divella. Divella is a big commercial pasta brand. It used to be one of the best in the 80s and 90s. It went a bit over, too much over the commercial side. They've changed uh, the quality a little bit, but let's see if the tomato sauce is good. It says uh, it's made uh, with Italian uh, tomatoes. They grow in Italy. This brand is from Puglia, so I hope they use uh, tomatoes from Puglia. Nutritional values a bit hard to read, but we got everything is very low. What they actually mention here too is the vitamin C, vitamin E, which is very good, calcium, iron, sodium is pretty high. And if we look at the ingredients, we have tomatoes and salt. No acid, nothing like that. Develas pasta used to be good, but. I don't know what happened. Let's see if they didn't sell the soul for the sauce. Uh, I can smell tomatoes. I can smell tomatoes. This is from Puglia. So I don't know if it was uh, maybe a city regulator. This is nice. This is thick. 
but there's a little bit of water too. You see the spoon has water on it? Hmm, the other one didn't. So I guess they have um, added water to make it more, to fill up the bottle. Yeah, it's a lot of water, very watery. Let's see if the taste is nice. Hmm, it's nice tomatoes. Um, I guess, I hope they are tomatoes from Puglia. Honestly, the tomato is nice, very nice. Tastes uh, fresh, tastes real. Not super convincing. I mean, I've been eating tomatoes, lots of tomatoes, so I'm sorry you're coming last. Nice flavors, nice smell. I like that you can see the seeds. It's a good sign. I like the seeds in tomatoes because when you eat tomatoes, you eat the seeds. So I want to see the seeds. Now, there's a little bit of too much water in there, which is not what makes me happy, but I don't want to be too bad to this Divella. The pasta is not as great, but this sauce is pretty nice. I can put this sauce together with a Cirio and La Molisana. I can give it a nice solid seven because it smells good, it's nice. Actually, it smells better than Molisana and Cirio. I will give it a seven and a half. I'm sorry to change. I'll put this together with Mutti. I don't know if the Consistency is there for Divella, Mutti is, Mutti is always good. This Divella surprised me. I've never eaten it before, but these beautiful flavors that come from the bowl, together with this um, fresh tomato flavor. It's nice. There's no acidity regulator. Unfortunately, the tomatoes are not as good as the Muraka. The Muraka is just... <laughs> The best, the best. And for me, it's just a little bit superior. For me, it has the little touch of freshness that these guys don't have. So, well done to Muraka, well done to Pomi, and well done to Mutti and Divella for the to be on the podium. Well done, guys. You've done a fantastic job, and keep doing it. And if you want to eat uh, tomato sauce like an Italian, you don't need to use these brands. But all of them are good, apart from Granoro, not a big fan. Uh, Cheerio is what I used to pick all the time, but today I have to say that if I have to choose between these sauces at the same price, Muraka of course it's a bit higher in price, it's different, I always go for this, but if I have to pick these guys, I would say Pomi and Divella is what I would pick first, yes, and then Mutti, and then Cheerio, Molisana and Granoro. I hope you guys this helped you, I hope um, you are going to change the way you eat thanks to this video because tomato sauce is so important. You can use it for meatballs, you can use it for, for, for pasta, for chicken, uh, for, for a lamb dish, so, or you can put it on the pizza. You put it on the pizza. So tomato is, uh, plays an important role in our life. And it's beautiful bread. Ah. Mm. Mm. I've got the recipe on my YouTube channel. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you are gonna try these tomato passadas I showed you. Um, but if you have a favorite one, just let me know. Let me know because uh, maybe I need to try it. Uh, maybe I'm missing out, you know? So I hope this is gonna help you and uh, make your next pasta more delicious. See you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate.